We as a species have come a long way from the times of sticks and stones, but one thing that hasn't changed is our love for violence. Maybe not all of us want to throw down ourselves, but there's no denying that humans are drawn to violence. The street fight videos get tens of millions of views on YouTube, boxing and MMA dominate the pay-per-views, and who doesn't love a good action movie? After all, regardless of your stance on violence, if a fight broke out outside your window right now, can you honestly say that you wouldn't watch intently like a moth to a flame? Even thousands of years ago during the times of the Colosseum and public executions, people would pay to watch people get maimed or killed. Is our love for violence something that's innately within us or something that we learn as we grow? In this video, we will discuss why we humans love our violence. Before we get into it, we just quickly want to announce that we at MMA Axis have launched our own line of apparel. If you would like to support the channel or just rep the MMA scene of your country, click the link in the description below. Now, as it turns out, many people have wondered this before, and there has been quite a bit of research conducted on the topic, much of it stemming from the question of whether violence in movies and video games are dangerous to young children. The simple answer is no, those things don't cause violence in children, which led to other interesting discoveries about our fascination with violence, which ended up being uncomfortable to some people. That is that humans are designed to love violence. It is innately tied to our biology. It may be harder to imagine in our modern society, but if we go back far enough in the human history, Violence was a necessity for survival. If you wanted to eat, you had to hunt for food. If you wanted land, you had to fight and kill for it. Because of the necessity for violence, our brains evolved to reward those who embraced it. Aggression is controlled in the brain by the amygdala and hypothalamus, and when someone partakes in aggressive or violent behavior, these parts of the brain flood your body with a ton of feel-good chemicals as a reward. This includes endorphins, cortisol, adrenaline, dopamine, and serotonin. Many of these chemicals are also released during sex to incentivize reproduction, so that should go to show how violence is right up there in our survival needs as reproduction is. Humans are designed to crave both those things, especially males, who are 4 to 10 times more drawn to violence than females. This could be because back in the olden days, it were the men who would have to hunt or fight to defend and conquer, so it was more evolutionarily a survival requirement for males than females. Even humans in modern days have an underlying passion for fighting and dominance, and research also shows that the more a person is experiencing violence, the more they seem to crave it in a phenomenon called appetitive aggression. That doesn't necessarily mean a calm person will turn into a violent person, but more along the lines that someone who likes action movies will continue to want to watch more and more action movies, in a sense. In fact, there is evidence that human bodies have evolved to fight, but that's a topic for another video to come. Humans even have genes dedicated to rewarding aggression, such as the warrior gene, or monoamine oxidase A gene for short. Now you might be thinking, well why isn't everyone just beating each other up in the streets? And the answer to that is simply society. We no longer fight to the death over territory or food, and we live in a society where unchecked aggression is frowned upon and very punishable. So most of us turn to other means to get our evolutionarily mandated dose of violence. This is where things like video games, movies, shows, and of course, combat sports come into play. Research shows that the consumption of violence through media triggers similar rewards in the brain as partaking in violent behavior yourself, although to a lesser extent. This is likely why we have such a fascination with violence in media, and especially combat sports, where we know that it's not just an actor playing a role, but real people fighting a real fight with real physical consequences. And it's addictive. If you're a hardcore fight fan, whether it's MMA, kickboxing, or boxing, if you go a couple weeks without any events to watch, you might be able to relate to that emptiness or craving that sets in. Many UFC fans can definitely relate to that feeling when there's a 2 or 3 week gap after having 9 or 10 weekly events in a row. This biological imperative might also explain why the fan base of combat sports is predominantly men, whereas other sports like basketball will have a larger percentage of female fans. So all in all, we love violence because we're designed to love it. It's quite literally in our DNA. You can even make the argument that just by biology alone, the emotional extremes a fighter feels on average when they win or lose a bout will be greater than any other sports athlete. Of course, this is all conjecture, but it's interesting to think about. We may live in a calm and collected society, but the primal genes are inside all of us. So the next time someone asks you why you love watching people beat the shit out of each other, tell them, I was born to love it. Thank you for watching our video. If you enjoyed, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for future content.